Saturday the 16th of December, Paddy Pimblett versus Tony Ferguson. How do I like this fight? This is a fight that comes down to timing. I say it with a lot of fights. It's a fighter on the way out versus a fighter where who's not lost in six. One who's not won in six, one who's not lost in six. It's a win-win for the UFC. Tony Ferguson is obviously on the way out. And they're trying to cash in with someone just as mouthy. And it's going to be a great sell. Paddy Pimblett will have huge respect for Ferguson. But we have to question Pimblett's resume fighting Tony Ferguson at this point. Ferguson has lost his last six fights against world-class operators. Michael Chandler, Charles Oliveira, Nick Diaz. I wouldn't call Bobby Green a world-class operator. But he comes into that category of fighters that have been around the block and have way more experience than Paddy Pimblett. So, on hindsight, I'm actually thinking, do you know what? I think Tony Ferguson should win this fight. But then reality kicks in. His timing's not there. And it doesn't matter how experienced you are if your timing's not there. And his timing's just gone. And his chin's just not there. And even though he can pull off the odd knockout, Pimblet has a lot of holes in his game and both counter each. Tony Ferguson's stand-up is probably better than Pimblet's, way better, way better. But his shot resistance isn't. I, don't, I just think if they're stood up together, Pimblet will force the action to the ground and that's dangerous because that's Tony's world. So either way, we're getting who could win. So it should just come down to endurance and who freezes on the night. Now, this is the biggest fight in Paddy Pimblett's career, bar none. He's fighting a former legend. But the timing's right. And he would have never have fought Tony Ferguson two or three, four years ago when Tony Ferguson was undefeated. He would have never have got the fight. He's talked himself into it. Fair play. So now we're looking at... Should Paddy Pimblett have enough? That's the question. Should Paddy Pimblett's skills be enough to stop Tony Ferguson and that's an hard question to answer because right now I'm thinking no <laughs> I don't think he has the skills to stop Tony Ferguson but time waits for no man in fighting and if Paddy Pimblett can stay focused and get Tony to the ground and not leave anything then he wins and it's grappling versus jiu-jitsu jiu now. Tony Ferguson is, is a top-class wrestler. And right now, I'm seeing more ways for Tony Ferguson to win. So, am I doing a Chael Sonnen right now, just weighing it up? I'm just seeing more ways for Ferguson to win here. But then Sense just keeps kicking in, saying, he's done. You want him to win, he's done. So I part of me thinks Tony Ferguson is going to win. But why is reality saying, no, he's done. And Paddy Pimblett is going to get a win. Now, if Paddy Pimblett beats him, he's only beat the Tony Ferguson he could beat. Not maybe the old one, but it doesn't matter. That's still a fantastic name on his record. And if he doesn't beat him, wow, well, well, then he's not ready for the for the other fighters. And that, that'll just show... Because Ferguson, it's a win-win. If he loses, he's expected to lose. If he wins, hey, I doubt he'll get another shot at a title. This is sort of like Tito Ortiz when he fought Ryan Bader. And Bader was on the come-up. And then I think he was undefeated. And then Ortiz caught him. Could be one of those. So you're asking me, Yuzi, who is going to win? I'm saying Tony Ferguson. But then... Something's just saying, don't say that. Reality's kicking in. And it's saying Paddy Pimblett is going to win because he's just going to be too too energetic for Ferguson to deal with. And even though he throws windmills, he might just have enough for Ferguson on the ground if he focuses. I'm going to go with you. I'm saying Paddy Pimblett. I'm saying Paddy Pimblett. And I don't know why, but I'm saying Paddy Pimblett. See, I'm thinking Tony Ferguson has a lot more skill. But the more the fights go, time's ticked on. He has fought harder fighters. 
But now he's fighting a younger fighter who will stop at nothing. And um, if Pimblet can't beat a shot worn Ferguson, then it's worse for him. So I'm going to go with Ferguson uh, with um, Paddy Pimblet just um, because it's a, it is actually a 50 50 fight. This skills and experience versus not much of either. But youth prevails. On this one, I think youth is just going to prevail. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to go with Paddy Pimblett with Ferguson. Even if he catches Pimblett early, he's going to have to catch, stop him. And I don't think you'll be able to take Paddy Pimblett's soul in this one. No chance. And that's all it comes down to. It's going to come down to Will and I. I think Pimblet's going to edge that. He's really going to want this. And you'll see him beating up a guy that can't take the shots anymore. Paddy Pimblet, just get your comments in though. Tell me what you think. Is this close or is this like a whitewash? I want to know. Peace.